are you doing? Welcome to my channel. My name is Tahav De Belema. Welcome to a new week, a new tutorial. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for, very much for your time. And if this is your first time of coming across my video or this coming across my video or this channel, it's really nice to have you here and I would love for you to be a part of the family. So please do not hesitate to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. So you get notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. So for today's project, I'll be sharing with you guys how to cut and sew a trendy wrap dress. And this is the inspiration here. From the inspiration, it, the dress that I'm using as inspiration, it's actually a full wrap dress, but I decided to switch it up a bit and make it a full wrap dress. And for this project, we'll be using this plain Dabiba fabric, two yards of it, and this pattern one. Uh, lining and our hair stick you know whenever i'm using a car i like it to be properly lined because i feel when it's well standing that's when it fits better so um and also another thing people need to know is that it might be a bit time consuming so i might have to divide the video into two parts this one where we'll draft the pattern though i, I already have the main block so we'll draft the pattern today then next week we'll sew the outfit so please bear with me and i hope you enjoy this project as much as i enjoy it so with that let's get right into the project this is the um, pattern block the dress pattern block that i said that i mentioned earlier so i know this is going to be a bit of an advanced class for those that don't know how to do the pattern block so i will have to i'll look into that later so this is the back. I'm not going to be dividing the back into bodies and skirts or top and skirt area. I'm going to just leave it plain like this. Then what I do, I'll just mark the places for the dart and include them in the out in the outfit when I'm sewing it. So this is just the one for the back. I'm going to leave it like this. Then the front. Now for the front, what I did, I did the I cut the front block on fold instead of just cutting a one because of the nature of the design is a wrap dress so you need to cut it complete on fold then the shoulder that I disappeared it because if the shoulder that was still there that's when you will now see the bust arc coming out so when I disappeared it I opened this that by the side in order to allow it to relax then I used it to trace that's when I was now able to use this pattern to trace the second one you know most of the designs if you look at it most of the design on the dress is on just this one you have got forget the lapel the lapel that is going to be here so that is what we are going to be doing so first of all we are going to get our lapel before
done with the pattern, so to speak, for the top. This is our Since it's not the gathers is at the waist is not much. Maybe like one more inch, just open it a bit, then the gather it. So this is the way it is. I just this because I cut off that excess. I need to adjust this. So the band at the waist, if you look at it, is now we're going to make it the tie. So this is all the overlapping one, the skirt parts. This is the top with the lapel. And this is the back, the back will be cut on fold, and this is the other side of the front also, I will just cut it into two. So I'm done cutting the um, the fabric and the lining. Remember, you have to cut it exactly the same way. Then all you need to do, remember, all the allowances are in, inside. But the only places you might need to put the allowance is the skirt, the, over, the skirt that is going to overlap. That's the place that is shaped. You just put half inch at the edge. This place put half inch at this edge for turning then this one goes all equally going up you put half inch there then of course at the waist you must always put your half inch for joining with the other side then also the same thing for the top then if you notice i used this place that is going to have the lapel i used i just lined it with the patterned fabric instead of because you could either decide to face it as we use normal um 
cotton lining underneath it then you use the this thing print fabric to do like a facing just at the lapel area but i just decided to do it together since it's not much so i wouldn't be doing more then this so this is so when i sew it this is what each would look like to come this way then this is going to be the gathers the gathered area that's the way it will look like then we'll join it then i also cut for the tie i'm going to use like i told you i'm not going to if you notice the design the band is on the waist but that is what i'm going to use as the tie for the this thing wrap dress i could sew it on top but i decided that instead of doing that let me just make a detachable tie that will just tie on the waist so what i need to do now i'll just join it normal way i'll just join it everywhere and turn it then weave this other side down come and show to you people okay so um i've joined it as in i've lined everywhere so you know most places like this from this is one side which i have joined so you know most of the design is on this other side the back i've joined everywhere i've even turned the sleeve the armhole rather you know it has this little thing that looks like a cap so what i will do now is show you what you just need to do with this one is what we need to do is just pull it you understand we already have our lapel standing out you understand so we'll just like i could you could use your sewing machine to do like a gather stitch on it and pull it but personally i don't mind there are some things that i really don't mind using my hand to do to get them like if to get them to actually when it's something that is as small as this is just from here to here we need to just gather it is not more then i feel that when you use your hand to do it you're able to put everything in order before you go and iron it so what i will do is to measure it remember the measurement we had before this expansion was 16 so when we use do the gathered stitches when i do the gathered stitches and pull it i have to make make sure both the top and the waist like the waist has to come this way it has to come like this then i can use my hands to you know, so when i like if it's gathered like this then i can use my hand to arrange it before i can iron it out because you know, remember the gathers is not much this one to the same thing i pull it then i iron it out so i'll just do that then show you how we proceed from that <laughs> I measure it any excess like these places that are not even you can just because after doing this you have to stitch on top of it okay so I've done that and all I have here is 16 that's plus the sewing allowance so what I have right now is 16 so what I need to do is that I'll just do this keep this stitch out not the stitch this is held in place now so all I need to do now is sew it like this sew it then like this I'll do the same thing for the waist also so the waist if you recall I notched somewhere here so if you remember here to for the inside we need to put like um, it depends on what you want to put you can either put a pressing button you can put rope or you can put hook and eye inside to hold the inner one inside either you put it where the tie which is already made i already made my tie 
detachable tie, like I said, that I will use on the waist. We go and do that also. Come back and show you the finished work. Then I wait for you guys to see. Yeah, that's all I need to do. I'll just sew on it, weave it, put it together. Then I come and show you guys what it looks like.